Hello friends, this is teacher JB. Let us listen, talk, and write. First, listen and repeat. There are many crayons in the box. There are many crayons in the box. There are many crayons in the box. Each crayon is a different color. Each crayon is a different color. Each crayon is a different color. He opens his coloring book. He opens his coloring book. He opens his coloring book. He colors the trees dark red. He colors the trees dark red. He colors the trees dark red. His mom buys crayons for him. His mom buys crayons for him. His mom buys crayons for him. Let's go back to the first sentence. There are many crayons in the box. So this is plural, many crayons. And then you read this crayons in cray, cray, crayons, 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 and then in crayons in. There are many crayons in the box. There are many crayons in the box. And each crayon is a is a different color. Say is a is is a. Each crayon is a different color. So after N, you don't have to pronounce T. Say different. Different. Instead of saying difference, just say different color. Each crayon is a different color. He opens this. He opens this. Open. O. Pen. Opens. And the H is silent. Opens this. His. He opens his coloring book. He opens his coloring book. He opens his coloring book. He colors the, colors the. So this one is working as a verb. Color, col, colors, colors, colors the, colors the trees dark, trees dark red. He colors the trees dark red. He colors the trees dark red. His mom, his mom buys crayons for him. So buys crayons for him. Buys, buy, and then buys. Buys cray, buys crayons, buys crayons for him. So his mom buys crayons for him. His mom buys crayons for him. Okay, let's read the sentences one more time. There are many crayons in the box. There are many crayons in the box. Each crayon is a different color. Each crayon is a different color. He opens his coloring book. He opens his coloring book. His, he colors the trees dark red. He colors the trees dark red. And finally, his mom buys crayons for him. His mom buys crayons for him. His mom buys crayons for him. Now let us just scramble the sentences. So we have there in the sentence. So we use there first, and there are verb, and then it means subject is uh, plural. Many crayons. There are many crayons in the box. So many crayons is the subject. R is the verb. And the box is an adverbial phrase in the box. And then, okay, crayon can be the subject. Color can be the subject, either color. Okay, crayon has color. Color doesn't have crayon. So each crayon has a different color. So each crayon is the subject, is a verb, a different color. It's a complement. Each crayon is a different color. And then book, he. Okay, he is the subject. Action opens. He opens what? He opens his coloring book. He, subject, 
opens verb. His coloring book is an object. He opens his coloring book. And then he is the subject. Now color, this is a verb now. So here color is a noun, but this color is a verb. He colors the trees dark red. He colors the trees dark red. He is the subject. Colors is the verb. The trees is an object. And dark red is objective complement because he's talking about the trees. He colors the trees dark red. And then vice is the verb. And him cannot be, he cannot be the subject. Korean cannot be the subject. So his mom buys him. His mom buys Koreans for him. Okay. So his mom, subject, verb, and then object. Or this is uh, just the adverbial phrase. Or if you want, you can say this way. His mom, his mom buys him, buys him crayons, C-R-A-Y-O-N-S. So this one, this sentence, and this sentence, same meaning. But it has, it has uh, in, indirect object. This is direct object. But this one has only a uh, direct object. So let's read the sentences one more time. There are many crayons in the box. Each crayon is a different color. He opens his coloring book. He colors the tr uh, trees dark red. His mom buys crayons for him. Okay, friends, this is the conclusion of today's study. I will come back to you with another story as soon as possible. Until then, keep studying English and have a great day. Bye.